right, let's do it. So, what we're talking about today is Fantasy Realms, but not regular Fantasy Realms, like these, um, they're reskin, but they're not just reskin because they do some different shit, so let's talk about it. So WizKids sent us Marvel Remix and Star Trek Missions. But they did not send us <laughs> Fantasy Realms. But since they are essentially the same game with like slightly tweaked rules and different themes, we figure there's no reason to do two whole videos on And them. actually, as of the time of this recording, they recently announced a Fantasy Realms Deluxe Edition, which I think uh, like reprints the cards. Deluxe. Hashtag want reprints the cards and stuff, but I think it also adds the Cursed Horde expansion in there. Um, and actually, I think that's probably the one I'm going to want to keep. Yeah. So, spoilers on what we think about these two. If you don't know, Fantasy Realms, the system, which these are all based on, is essentially everyone is dealt a hand of cards, and you are basically draw one, discard one, to build the best hand of cards possible, and when the game's over, you all lay your hands down, rummy style, and see like who has the most points in your hand. In Fantasy Realms, it was every card has a number, a color, a name, and a, a special ability at the bottom. So the number on the top left is how many points it, it is as itself, and then the special ability at the bottom will tell you what it gets points, additional points for. What combos? Yeah, what combos? It wants to be with these other cards, or it doesn't want to be with this card or it wants to be with this specific named card, or it wants to be in a hand with all odd numbers, or something like that. And this adds, uh, both of them do, add a little bit more to the scoring aspect. Yeah. It adds, instead of just a, a, like a type and a color and stuff, it adds like these little symbols off the side, which is almost like more types. This one and that one has the same, and this one is probably the worst in terms of yeah. the symbology aspect. And I don't know if that was necessary. I think the simplicity of Fantasy Realms as it is, is sort of the, I, the key to it. I get the incentive, because it feels like that was added to increase theme. Right. Because obviously, like, with Marvel, it's you're trying to build, like, you can try to build a Wakandan hand. Or an X-Men like, hand. Or yeah, the, the more hand. of this thing you have, you know, like... Hulk goes really well against Abomination. And they're both heroes, which is their type, but they're also both radiation or whatever, yeah. right? Well, Abomination's not a hero. He's a villain, but... You know what I mean. But still, like, there's uh, very thematic on types. Same with Star Trek, where you have things like, you know, are they Federation? Are they Klingon? Are they Romulan? But then you also have, like, rank. So there's, like, command, engineer... Civilian. Civilian. Uh, you can have, like, hologram type, hostile type. Uh, there's races on here. So there's there's things like that that they added a lot of variability that to me almost made it feel like you were trying to get a very specific hand. Yeah, and and the Star Trek one, they don't have a base cost on the top left. So you will, I mean, unless you have like the perfect hand, it's very possible to have uh, cards that just don't score anything. Yeah. It's, but I mean, they are used to score other cards, but otherwise they themselves won't count for yeah, any Yeah, essentially points. the Star Trek is all combos. You only score points based on the combos, whereas the other versions have base costs, and then you can combo base, for more points. Base points, yeah. Base points, yeah. Um, but both of these have two decks instead of just the one. Now, I think, again, I haven't played the Cursed Horde expansion, which I know has, I think it has an, a separate little deck. So this might be coming from that. But right off the bat, I don't really see it to be a huge necessity. Like, I get that, like, you... For almost the Marvel one, it almost makes a little bit more sense because it's like the villains are, they're worth more points, but they have more negative stuff at the bottom. And these missions are, they, I guess they give you more points in total, but... So yeah, with the, the Star Trek, because everything is based on combos, a lot of your combos are based on your missions. Mm -hmm. But that also means that like you could get missions that just like you'll never complete. Because a lot of it is discard and draw, and you discard, you discard like, you know, you, the cards are all spread out like this. So that you can pick up anybody's discard, but there's not, I don't think there's a lot of duplicates in the deck. So like if you need like holodeck one, holodeck two, or computer for this thing to score at all, and everyone else has those in their hand, or they're also going for a mission that needs those, like you could just be SOL and you may not even realize it. But so again, like, that has a lot to do with the no base cost thing, because that same thing could be in uh, Fantasy Realms of it wants these two specific cards, but if you don't get them... At least it is its own type, and yeah. it has a base cost and stuff, you know? 
Yeah, I, I feel like in Star Trek, there's a lot more cards that just like, well, this did nothing, this did nothing, this did nothing, and these actually score some points. So between these two, I like the Marvel one, not just because I like the theme more, but because I do think it is functionally a little bit closer to Fantasy Realms and just works better with the symbology, and I like that it has a base cost and stuff. Oh, the only other thing that we didn't mention is that some cards can transform, like Hulk or Jean Grey can are yeah. like double double sided they can start like this and flip over like that later on if you get the trigger effect at the bottom um so i do like the marvel one better than the star trek one out of these two but i still think original fantasy realms is the best yeah i haven't played original fantasy realms i i appreciate the theming of the star trek one i feel like we're seeing a lot more marvel games right now so a star trek themed game like just attracts me a little more because that's just another marvel game i think it's kind of getting to be the new zombies. Like yeah. it's it's kind of played out at this point. Yeah. But I think the game the system for this game is is significantly better. The um I I think overall though none of them because they're so they're they're still based on the same fantasy realms things. I don't think you should have more than one. Oh no, definitely not. I think if you have like get the like it's not even get the theme that works best for you. Like, well, I mean it, because even yeah. if Star Trek's your favorite theme, I, I think, think it's, it's kind of the, the worst implemented, or least good, we'll be positive about it. Yeah, well, like, because, I mean, it's still, I like the, the overall way the game works, you know, it's just... Yeah, but the yeah. games all work the same, where it's the same mechanic of draw one, discard one. Uh, and that's my other complaint with the system, is that because game end is triggered on the amount of cards discarded... So if people are just cycling through the cards that are already discarded, the game can take longer. But if you're drawing from the deck, the game's going to go really quick. And depending on what someone's burning for, like, you may get only five turns in the whole, like, only five turns to try to build the best hand possible, which to me didn't feel like enough. Yeah, a game is supposed to be quick, but sometimes it can be too quick. But that's mostly when you're playing with new players. When you play with experienced players, like, the second a card hits the discard pile, everyone's like, <gasps> you know? Yeah. And when I say experience, I mean experience with Fantasy Realms, because nobody nobody that I know has experienced with these ones yet. So yeah, Fantasy Realms, Marvel, Star Trek. But we'll have links to all three of them in the description box below. Get Fantasy Realms. Yeah. No, but honestly, I do think they are close enough to where if you really love Star Trek, fine. Maybe you won't care about those little things, but come on. Um, also down there, what are we talking about? Uh, game toppers. We didn't say that yet. Yeah. yeah. Get those, check those guys out. They're also a subscribe cool. button. That's the That's best the button. button. It's not in the description though. So it's, it's a little, is it in the description? It's kind it's, of, no, it's a bug. Ish. It's in the same area. Oh, I've had something in my eye this whole video. Okay. Uh, subscribe and let me be bored. Bye. <laughs> oh, terrible. Is such a <laughs> video. <laughs> uh, four for each hostile and Klingon empire. None. <laughs> <laughs>